ye here while I go and pray yonder. And he took with him Peter and two sons of Zebedee and began to be sorrowful and very heavy. Then said he unto them, My soul is exceeding sorrowful, even unto death. Tarry ye here and watch with me. And he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed and sang, O oh, Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thy will. Jesus. And he cometh unto his disciples and findeth them asleep and saith unto Peter, What? Could ye not watch with me for one hour? Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. He went away again a second time and prayed, saying, Oh, my father, if this cup may not pass away from me, except I drink it. Thy will be done. Yes. Woo, glory to God. And he came and found them. Y'all ain't going to believe this. Asleep again. For their eyes were heavy. And he left them and went away again and prayed a third time saying the same words. Then cometh he to his disciples and said sleep on now. And take your rest. Behold, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed unto the hands of sinners. Rise, let us be going. Behold, he is at hand that doth betray me. May God add a blessing to the reading and hearers of his word. Lord, we thank you. These are your people, nothing I can give to them that can help them unless you give it to me. Have your way. Bless your people through your holy word. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, my God, today. You may be seated. Let's see if we come up with a title in the midst of this. But I looked at this, and this thing hit me really good. Amen. And really hard on last night and this morning. And the other day, and it was just messing with me a little bit. And then I looked at how, amen, this word lets us know that Jesus went up and he was going to do his job. And he gave them all a job to do. And when he gave them their job to do, amen, they did something that has gotten a few of us fired. They went to sleep on the job. Come on, somebody. And when they fell asleep on the job, it didn't stop Jesus, come on, somebody, from doing what he had to do. But the thing that it did for Jesus, it made it harder for him. Y'all ain't hearing me. Because everybody has a job to do. And it's important that you do your job. Yes. So he came back and he asked, could you not pray with me, wait with me for just one hour? One hour. And the thing that hit me was that one hour. Y'all don't hear me. One is the first. Oh, yes. When you do anything for the first time, unless you are just talented, gifted, this and that, you're going to stumble. Y'all don't hear me. It's not going to be easy for you the first time. Oh my God. Unless you have studied up on it. You have gotten to where I know exactly which way to go and what to do. Now I'm going to do it and then they're going to say, you act like you've been doing this for a lifetime. But for the most part, your first time, you're clumsy. Come on somebody. Your first time is not going to be easy. Y'all don't hear me today. I'm fixing to preach. I'm not going to be here before you long. Ah, thank you, Jesus. And 
Even when you deal with that first, you deal with starting a business. You'll find out that the first year of that business, come on somebody, will be the most hectic year. Oh yes. A lot of times that's the year that you lose money instead of gaining. Y'all don't hear me today. Oh Lord help me. But it's because it's your first. Oh help me today Lord Jesus. But that first, that one Oh my God, at times it will bring discouragement to someone. Mm -hmm. I feel like preaching. I hope y'all are catching this. Yes, because of the fact that they didn't make it in the first year. Lord help me. They didn't make it through that first year of marriage. They gave up. It was hard. They were learning, trying to learn how to become one flesh. Bye. You don't hear me. Two different attitudes, two different mindsets, two different things come together to become one. That's a hard thing to do. And because they're doing that, they're going to fall. They're going to stumble. They're going to have a hard time. And most marriages end within the first year. Y'all ain't hearing me today. And because the first year of marriage got hard, Divorce comes. Because the first year of that business, you lost more money than you expected. You give up on the business. Come on, somebody. Because Jesus told them to wait for one hour. And they went to sleep. Somehow, they lost their press. And they gave up. Y'all ain't hearing me today. So then he went away again. And when he came back, found them sleeping again. We did it the first time, so why, oh my God, will we just, why not do it again? Are y'all hearing me? So we got to get to the point to where we learn how to press. Sometimes it might seem as though we're not making it. It might seem like we can't get there. It might seem like, oh my God, it's just not going the right way. But if you hold on, I guarantee you hold on and do it God's way. God is going to bless you. Y'all ain't hearing me today. God's going to make the way. He's going to add. If you put it in God's hand, they used to tell us that little becomes much when you place it in the hands of the Lord. Hallelujah. They used to tell us to give it to the Lord because he can do more with it than what you Go can. Extra. I don't hear nobody. So if you trust in Go God, extra. he may not come when you want it. But I guarantee you, I assure you that he will be there on because he's an old time God. Come on, somebody. Are y'all hearing me? Oh, thank you, Jesus. And see, this also deals with selfishness. Are y'all hearing me? They told us that man, man, man is selfish from birth. Oh, yes. If you don't believe it, you deal with these little babies. My daughter just had one. He sleeps all day long. And he keeps her up all night. Because he's doing what he wants to do. And when he wants that bottle, he's so selfish, mother, he don't care if he wakes you up. He's going to cry, kick, and scream. Ah! Until you get up. He's going to disturb your sleep. He's going to do everything he can because he wants what he wants right then to get it. Y'all don't hear me. When he wants that diaper change, he's going to cry. He's going to kick and scream until you give him what he wants. We have selfishness in us from birth. Come on, somebody. So they dealt with this selfishness that they were not being 
their lords, their masters, their brothers keeper. Come on, somebody. He said, I need your help. Oh, I'm preaching. Tell right now. Y'all ain't like this guy. I'm not preaching. But even in needing their help, they say, maybe I'll just rest a little while and do it a little bit later. Oh my God. Yes, it was late in the midnight hour. But somebody said the darkest hour is just before day. Oh, y'all ain't hearing me. We're still dealing with that. We're still dealing with that. We're still dealing with it. That darkest hour is just before the day breaks. So we must know that we got to hold on. It's going to take pressing. It's going to take pushing. It's going to take fighting through. Oh my God, I might want to go to sleep. But let me jump up and down and get my adrenaline pumping so I can stay up a little while. I don't hear nobody. Because it's only an hour. Y'all ain't hearing me today. I wish y'all could hear me preach. I wish y'all could hear me. You put it upside down. Thank you, Jesus. But I want you to understand that in this, we must know that this message was not meant to be a guilt trip. To tell you, you're not waiting with me. You're not working with me. You're not doing this, not doing that. But it is to bring awareness to the fact that we have a job to do. And Jesus said, I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. For the night time is going to come when no man is going to be able to work. Y'all gonna help me preach the day, ain't you? I can't hold this anymore. So, we dealt with this. Ooh, I feel like preaching. And he told him, sit here a while. I'll do the hard part. See, sometimes when we have our jobs, because our job don't look like the next man's job, we feel that it's insignificant. We feel like we can just sit down and not do anything. I don't hear nobody. We feel like it's not worth anything. But every clap that you do, Every time you wave your hand, every time you say amen, look at your name and say, it is important. Well, I feel like preaching. It's important, somebody. So you must know that your job is important. You need to take it seriously. And look at your name and say, stop sleeping. Stop sleeping. On the job. Oh my God today. Woo, I feel like preaching. I feel an anointing. So let me slow down and give this to you the best that I can. Preach that, Pastor. And it's a doggone shame that he took a crew with him. Come on, somebody. He took two sons of Zebedee. And he took Peter. Come on, somebody. And felt as though he had some with him. I don't hear nobody. Yes, sir. But then he told him, I need you to just stay here just for a minute and keep watch for me. Keep watch. Because things are coming. Yes. Trouble is coming. There's warning that comes to the church. Keep watch because something is coming. Something is going to happen. Come on, somebody, but you forget about it. You sleep. You go to the movie. You go out to eat. You do what you do. Come on and forget all about what God is trying to do. My Lord, wake up. So then, when they tell him, just wait just a moment. I'm going to do the hard part. Please watch. There's a nervousness. There's something in there. Even though he's Jesus, son of the living God. I don't hear nobody. Amen. But he was suffering. But as he went on up to pray, Lord, 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 if it be at all possible, take this cup from me. 
unless it's in the hands of these here. Amen. They're here. They're here. They're praying. They're waiting. They're looking. They're watching out. Come on, somebody. Because danger's coming my way. I've got somebody that got my back. But Lord, I'm talking to you right now. I, I even got them watching because of the fact I don't want nothing to hit me. I don't want it to come my way. Y'all ain't hearing me. I want to live. My flesh wants to live. But then to come back, whew, it was hard. And find them sleeping. Anything could have happened to me. Anything could have happened. Where were you? What are you doing? Why are you sleeping? Could you not wait for one hour? Come on, somebody. Now, please, wait. I'm trying to get something through. I'm trying to get a prayer through. Now I know I can't leave it in their hands. Hallelujah. My God. The work that God gave me, how can I leave it in their hands? They're sleeping on the job. Y'all don't hear me. Oh, my God. Y'all better catch this. So I turn around and I say, I got to go back again. And when I go back again, I have to say, the difference, Lord, I'm here by myself. Do you want to leave this in the hand? Do you see what's going on? What is it? Oh, Lord, if it be whatever, not my will, but your will be done. If you got to take me, take me. I'm ready. Because I know these men need something different. Y'all don't hear me. I wish y'all could catch this good preaching. I know that they need more. Word. And it's not going to be released unto them until I go. Mm -hmm. Are y'all catching this? Oh, yes. So I got to go away. And when I go, I'm going to send another comfort. Oh, yeah. Because the spirit is indeed willing. But the flesh is weak. But they need something else. They need some power. They need something that's going to sustain them, something that's going to keep them, something that's going to help them. And when they feel like going to sleep, something that's going to nudge them and wake them up. Are y'all catching this good stuff? So not my will, your will be done. Because I know this world needs more than what I'm doing. Because these works that I do, you'll do greater works. Come on, somebody. Because it's going to be more of you. Oh, help me, Jesus. Y'all hear me? Yes, Lord. See, that's what we do. Make disciples. Make followers of Christ disciples. We make people. Come on, somebody. That's going to be just like Christ. Bishop Darrell Hines said, not Christians, but saints. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. Oh, Lord, I feel like preaching. But I got to teach y'all a little bit. Because all the screaming and hollering is good. I feel it. I know what I'm screaming for. I know what I'm hollering about. I know why I'm chopping. I know all that. I know exactly what's going on. I got a depth. I got something. I, I'm connected to the spirit. I know. But I want you to understand, too. Just like I didn't tell them to move and sit down. And that's what I waited for. Y'all don't hear me. Because I, they could not even wait. Are y'all catching me? Couldn't even wait. I wanted to see who was going to do it first. I didn't believe them. Because they could not wait. And then why would it be him? Why would it be the assistant pastor? Why would it be the one that everything's left in his control? Why would it be Peter? Y'all ain't hearing me. Come on, somebody. Why would it be Peter? Woo, help me, Jesus. But we got to learn something. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost so much. I just almost fell out of the Oh, my God. Somebody just give God some praise. But check this out. has come. You done slept, you done got your rest, you done did this and did that, but now the hour has come. Let's go. 
And now it's time to go. They done went to sleep. They done went back to their seat. They done did all that. But now the people come forth. Y'all don't hear me. And when they come forth, somebody help me. They don't know how to react. They don't know how to respond. Because they wasn't waiting with him. Y'all don't hear me. They wasn't waiting with him. They was doing their own thing. They wasn't waiting with him. Lord. They were sleeping. But if they were to take time to wake up, they'll know that they're doing it the wrong way. So the first man that come up to attack Jesus. Oh my God. Peter. Oh, cut his ear off. I don't hear nobody. But Jesus said, you don't understand, Peter. They that live by the sword should die by the sword. He picked up the man's head and put it back on his head. Come on, somebody. Yes, yes, yes. Glory to God. But when he gave it back to him, the man even had to give God some praise. Glory to the Lamb of God. But you had to get rebuked because you wasn't in the right place. Stop sleeping. Listen to what your pastor's telling you. Listen to what's going on. Because God has gave the pastor vision. And if you don't follow the vision, you're going to do wrong. You're going to do it the wrong way. Come on, somebody. I know it appears to be the right way. Oh, my. Man thinking in his heart to be right, but the end thereof is the way of death. Are y'all hearing me? It wasn't the right thing to do. It wasn't the right thing to do. That's why I tell people, I tell them all the time, and, and I have them come and tell me, they, oh, they was messing with your pastor, I had to do this, I had to do this. Shut your mouth. Let them talk about me. Let them do it. Let them treat me wrong. Let them do it. Oh yes. You watch me suffer. That's what you do. So you can learn which way you're supposed to go when it's your time. Right, oh, because if it come down to it, y'all got to learn this here. Because nobody's ready to take over this church right now. Oh, that's right, oh, Pastor. You right, Pastor. Lord, I ain't trying to preach like this. Lord, help me. Then I open my eyes and say, Lord, help me. Because we must be ready. You right, Pastor. When the time comes. I'm under the anointing. I want y'all to understand this. I hear God. Stay there, Pastor. You want to be ready when the time comes. Come on, somebody. You want to be ready when the time comes. I got to keep saying that over and over and over again. You want to be ready when the time comes. And I tell you, the way to be ready is not to do anything you feel like doing. Just to rest. When you feel like resting. Mm. Not my will, but your will, God. For the last month or so, I've lost so much sleep, it don't make sense. Find myself up in the middle of the night. Find myself crying over you. Thinking about you. Worried about you. Y'all don't hear me. Help me, Lord. And then you might have the mentality that I ain't losing no sleep over nobody. Oh, God. Oh, you're right. You're right, Pastor. Wash your hands. And you right now. didn't even catch it. Say it. I ain't losing no sleep over nobody. Say it. But the thing is. You better be ready to lose some sleep. Because it's not your will. Yes. Oh my God. But you better let his will be done. Yes, yes. Woo. My God, my God, my God. My God. Hallelujah. In order to lead, you have to be a good father. That's it, Pastor. That's it, Pastor. Y'all ain't hearing me. Some things you're not going to agree with. But 
But let me tell you something. Obedience. Yes, it is. So much better. Yes, it is. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And God made you a leader for a reason. Yes. He knew what he was doing. Yeah, he did. did he not? Yes. He, did. he knew to put you in that place. He knew that you need to be the prayer warrior. Oh, yes. Jesus. He knew. He knew. He knew. Yes. And because he knew, oh my God, y'all quit fighting against God's will. Oh, yes. Oh, God. 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 Lord, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Quit fighting against his will. Doesn't oh, matter. Y'all think Brother Congo shouldn't do this? Think Minister Ingram shouldn't do this? Minister Lattimore? Shut up. All right. Amen. Leave it alone. Because I know what God said. Yes. I know what it said. Sometimes it's a fight. Sometimes it's a hard fight. When God speak to you, sometimes it's a fight. I turn around, Elder. God spoke to me, gave me to speak to a leader. This leader told me, God wouldn't give you to give me nothing. He told me, you're a nobody. He said, I hang with the bishop. I hang with this. I hang with that. And he wouldn't give you to give me nothing. He would give somebody that's on my level. Mm. Broke me all the way down. You was with me. And when it broke me down to the point to where I'm crying. We prayed together late night. I said, did God give that to me? God said, I gave it to you. Then I'm praying. Then he gave me a word. to second guess what God said. Everybody looking at me crazy because I done gave a word. Y'all don't hear me. Yes. And it took a whole year for this word to come to pass. But then when it happened, the preacher gave me respect. The preacher told me you would never step a foot in my pulpit. You would never do this, never do that. But when that came to pass, that preacher, I went over there and was asked to MC a program. And when I did, he said it would be an honor for me to get you in my pulpit. Amen. And the only thing I could do was weep and cry. See, sometimes when God bless us, we don't even know how to act. Sometimes when God lift us up, we don't know how to act. We get a hearty spirit. It should, you did it. You, you, you should have did that a long time ago. The devil is a liar. If you had that attitude, it still shouldn't be done. I need to be preaching. I need to be doing this and I need to be doing that. If you got that attitude, you still should be preaching. You still should be teaching. You still should be. Because it's not about you. It's not your will. But his will be done. Are y'all hearing me? I'm still working. 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 Glory to God. And I think we got the attention too because they're waiting. Glory to the Lamb of God. Glory to the Lamb of God. And even in this, we must walk worthy of the vocation in which we are called. Don't try to be what you're not. I knew that Elder Hart was supposed to be with me because God spoke that to me. God told me a long time ago before I even started a church, he told us that we were supposed to do this thing together. And he, Lord help me, he, he knew it, but he's faithful. Y'all don't understand this. And I knew what God said. And every time I would start talking to him, God said, wait a minute, God, yeah, I know you. Yeah. Then he finally said something else. I even got to the point to where I said, okay, this is what I'll do because I know that we're supposed to be doing this ministry together. I got so ignorant. When I know God called me out, I, I was afraid. I didn't want to do it. Y'all ain't hearing me. I was so scared it didn't make no sense. I was a year behind schedule. And now I told him, I said, listen, you come on over. 
you pastor the church. Let me do the work of an evangelist. I'll be the evangelist. Come on, somebody. The Holy Ghost hit me and said, I called you out of that. I called you to pastor. That told me he will be with you. So I looked at him and I told him sitting in my kitchen one day, we at the table. I said, you're going to come on over there. He's like, you mm. If the Lord said the same. Then finally he said, they're going to have to put me out the church. Then what happened, Ellen? Got put out the church. <laughs> Glory to the Lamb of God. See, because I knew what God was saying. So it's not what you want to do. But it's what God wants you to do. If you're not a pastor, don't try to be a pastor. Don't try to do the pastor things. Come on, somebody. Come on now. And then if you want to talk to me, come talk to me. Let's pray. And then when I tell you what God gives me, learn to be quiet and believe that. And pray. 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 Ask God. Okay. God will show you. He'll tell you. If you get out of yourself. Wait. Why am I talking like this? I don't want to preach so bad. So when it comes down to it, don't do what you want to do. Uh oh, Brother Ray, I ain't finna start with you. Lord, help me. I was sure finna start with it. But listen, even with this, I know it's it's catchy. Some things are catchy. Some things are catchy, Brother Ray. That title, that thing, Worship Experience Ministry. It should be on the light screen. Come on, somebody. But within that, that gives me the impression that you're talking about a one-time experience, but worship is a lifestyle. Lord, help me. I'm not trying to do Lord, help me. Worship is a lifestyle. Other than having a worship experience, we need to experience true worship. My God. That's a lifelong thing, yeah. not a service. Lord help me. Oh God. So, could you not wait with me for one hour? And he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed and said, Oh Lord, my Father, if it be possible, let this come on for me. Go and get away. Come on now. Hallelujah. And then he told them, watch. After this, he said, the disciples have found us oh, again. Hungry. And what? Not, uh, uh, could he not wait right. with me for one hour? Watch and pray that he enter not into temptation. See, the, the thing that you got to understand is that the work that he was telling them to do, the thing that he was telling them to do was not just for him, but it was also for them. Huh? Said, watch and pray. Oh my God. And it was not just for him, but it was for them. 